without saying like, like five talking. times. Shh, they're just trying to get the shot. Sorry. I'm Liz and I'm Jen. And we write a music blog together called Pelly Twins. And we curated this session of Shaking Through with Big Troubles. They recorded their record Worry in their bedrooms and they were very restricted. And you, I feel like when you listen to the album, you could tell that it was it's a band that didn't have the opportunity to like completely flesh out their ideas. You should use the Mutron, the, the Mutron phaser. Wait, you have a Mutron? Oh, yeah. oh my god. But it, it has so many, so many sounds. I mean, yeah, it's two I, separate channels, with the, which are either linkable or you can use them in stereo. We're used to using drum machines and plugging our guitars into effects boxes right into four tracks and into by computers ourselves. by ourselves mm -hmm. with no one to tell us this kind of panning is good and this is how you should mic amps. We've never even, we've barely ever mic'd amps on a recording, so. It didn't, it doesn't work now. <laughs> Stop working. Oh. <laughs> so we should let's let's get stuff cooking, right? The song we recorded is called Phantom. Phantom definitely had in mind power pop bands in the 90s that were doing really big guitars. That's I would love to hear the the biphase through that. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah I just boosted totally. the tone up a little bit. Okay, yeah. Brian and John both just were really helpful in terms of saying Okay, well, we should pair this sound with this sound. It would be almost make sense to sort of use the more two-dimensional sounding amps, yeah. and then the more round kind of three-dimensional stuff for the lead stuff. Yep. And the right speaker will be one, the left speaker will be the other. Shit, yeah. That's the way to go, right? When they sent us that demo, we loved that song, but it was almost like hearing it through a tube. Hearing it through a tube, <laughs> like, or behind a wall or something. It was awesome yesterday to be in the studio and hear, like, it's finally like that wall was knocked down or something. Yeah. <laughs> Big Troubles ultimately really wanted something massive and huge that you just couldn't record at home. When they were done this recording session, they, they sounded pretty much exactly like they're supposed to sound. To have someone like Brian or like a team of Brian and John to just help out bands that maybe don't have some label to throw money at them or anything like that is awesome. what the sessions have done for other bands. It's not a small opportunity at all, and I hope that something like this kind of motivates them to push themselves a little bit more and get to that point where they could have a career that's much longer than just a few years and a few records. Yeah. Creatively, we have a lot of ideas about where we want to go, but in terms of like life plan for the band, I mean, I still don't know, but I, we know better now.